Listen, box boy, with your box, your fancy box, you showing me what's in it. When something new and fancy is released, I'm waiting for people's opinions on said item. And all I find is frickin' box openers, workers in a factory. Oh, look at this. We're gonna open this box, see what's inside it. You're not a detective. So today we find out, should unboxing videos be illegal, first of all? And should I be able to thumb them down three times with one click? Anybody have an app for that? And then we'll unbox two things. Surprise things. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I don't know about you, but when a new camera or a new phone or some new technology thing that could benefit my life is announced, I want to see it. I want to see, I want to hear people's, experienced people's opinions on it, not just any old doofus looking for cake. I don't want to hear some plumber's opinion on his new iPhone and how he uses it to gauge water pressure. I don't give a shit. Just I'd like to hear, I want to see a review. The problem is, some of these, when the, it's fresh, a fresh release, there's not a lot of reviews out, except the people that have been sent the item for free. What we get in, the first flutter unboxing videos, where they just, you're hoping, they review it, they show it, they test something. They don't. They just unbox it. They open the box. That's the most exciting part for you. Why you ruin it? That's the first complaint. It's exciting. You get something new. There's a couple new things down there. We'll get to that. Why are you ruining my Christmas morning? Who watches Christmas morning videos? Oh, look at all the fun stuff they got. Wish I could have that. Just go buy the thing. What, do you need to know what kind of cardboard they use? I do, personally. You better be triple ply cardboard, or I ain't buying it. I don't mind if someone gets creative with it. I've seen Gerald Undone do some interesting unboxing angles to music. I was like, oh, look at that. It was actually enjoyable to watch, but some people at least cut out the packaging noise for a while. You skip to the, oh, you open this, this is a cord. And then seven minutes of opening the next thing. You chop that one, chop that part. Just bring it in a notch on your editing timeline, you geek. Don't just keep the footage rolling and apologize while it's rolling, knowing you're making mistakes. Just, oh, sorry about all this packaging noise. Yeah, thanks for talking. I couldn't hear you over the packaging noise, so I don't accept your apology. I couldn't hear it, I'm pissed. The worst is when you really want to buy an item. Say you got the iPhone 11 on your mind and somebody has it and you're just like, oh, okay, test it. Yeah, just, just test this one function and they just open the box and this'll be fun. <laughs> All right, come back next week. Next week? I could be dead. There's no guarantees in this life. Next week? You want me to come back to your channel? I could be in Saudi Arabia. That's how I say it, Saudi. You don't? you're missing out. So one, at best, you've ruined the surprise of what's in the box. You're terrorizing me and my life. Two, it's boring. I'm straight up bored watching you open your stupid box. Uh, let me show you. I have two things to unbox and the rest of this video is gonna be at this. I'm not even gonna try to make it interesting. Samsung Note 10 Plus versus the iPhone 11 Pro. Which bag is better? If I could review the bag, one is black, one's white. So if you have a preference, that could be interesting. I've noticed that they're both wrinkled as I shoved them into my knapsack. So both moving points on that one. The Samsung's cords a little long, that's pretty long. You got potential to drag on the floor on that one. It's a safety hazard. So points to iPhone on that one. Let's see what's in the box. Don't cut any of this footage, by the way. Just continue wondering on camera what's gonna happen next. Don't clip my audio, I swear to God. I swear to God. Do you want package, Apple package ASMR? Do 
We have it, my friend. Now the Samsung package, they just threw a ghetto ass receipt right in there. Apple emailed me the receipt. I misspelled my email, so I didn't get it. There's no way of returning the item. So that's unfortunate. Lost a lot of money on that purchase. Note 10, there are crumbs. There are definitely crumbs on the package. Didn't see a cookie in there. Maybe they give you a welcome cookie to the Samsung Club. So here we have two boxes. This is fantastic. I've noticed that the Samsung box is taller. Is it also wider? Because that would be the girth that matters. Yeah, we got a little extra on the black one. That's not usual. Usually the black ones are smaller. Uh, lengthwise, and it seems the iPhone's smaller on all accounts. That's fantastic. Now, is there a way of opening it without them knowing I've opened it so I can return it at some point? Not that I ever would do that. I plan on keeping it, of course, both of them. Obviously, everybody needs two top-end phones in their life. If you play with the corners, you do it gently. Oh, I just, yeah, I ripped the whole thing. Does Apple opening package sound better? That clipped my fucking audio. Okay, I unfolded some of the slats. I do notice that it's sticking slightly the glue to the cardboard as I pulled it. So if you're noticing that, it could annoy you. Don't buy the iPhone. Now, as I slide that open, I notice there's a phone in the box. That was my first shocker. Nothing in the lid. Hmm. That is intriguing, isn't it? So we have a phone in the actual box. And then there's things, I'm not gonna lie. That is glory, my friend. We did get the midnight green, cause I'm a sheep and everybody likes it. It's the only one they had. Samsung offered me some rainbow shit. I denied it. I denied the attempt. Can I vlog with this? Well, we will see. Not in this video, of course. This is just an unboxing video. Designed by Apple in California. Hmm. Didn't know they were based in there. That's, that's interesting. I knew they were American, but I didn't know which state exactly. There's a clip thing. I don't understand what that is. There's metal here. It's sharp. That's definitely a hazard. It's designed to reset the camera, I think. You do get Apple stickers. It's a nice touch, I'm not gonna lie. I could stick that on my Windows machine and people might think it's a laptop. It actually works. There also appears to be headphones. They are corded, I've noticed. So they're not the wireless ones that stick out and make you look like you're from Star Trek, but like a outcast extra, not an actual actor in the movie. Budget freak. This is a USB note. What the hell is that? I've never seen it before in my life. It's some kind of cable that probably attaches to nothing that I own. So that's cool. USB-C. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, my laptop doesn't have that. So there's no way to get the files onto my computer. <laughs> oh, that's good times. This was a good purchase. That seems to be the end of it. We got a charger here. That's fantastic. What's in there? Don't touch the box. Don't ruin it. Now the Samsung box I'm noticing doesn't come out. It doesn't actually unbox itself like the Apple product. So that's definitely points lost if you're in a hurry buying your phone. I'm scared to death to touch this. Samsung, what the fuck is your problem? There does appear to be tape. I missed that. That's user error on that one. It would have came out if I had just lifted this piece first. It's embarrassing to be me sometimes. 
We'll get this. Oh, this is a terrible experience. Oh, Samsung, I hate you so much. Why is this tape here? And why is it extra glue strong? What kind of glue is this? You know, it's from Africa. You can tell. There's no reason for this to be here. Oh, Apple is so much better than you so far. The unboxing experience. Unparalleled. What the hell is this? They're never gonna accept this return. Not that I would ever do that. Oh, okay. We also have the phone in the box here. They copied Apple. That seems a lot bigger. Uh, you're losing points. You've lost points already. We got the black one. Okay. Wow. Quite bigger. That Samsung. No one cares about that though. They want to see what's in the box. Well, we do have a a useless piece of nothing cardboard with nothing in it, no gifts. We do have the charger. It's blacker. There's a lightning bolt on it. it says super fast charging, so I'm assuming it charges faster than the iPhone, much faster. We have a cord which doesn't appear to have any purpose. It's also that new USB thing that my laptop doesn't have. So this is now useless to me as well. That's $3,500 down the drain. That hurts. There appears to be some sort of adapter. A USB to C? Maybe. We have salvaged our life. It appears to be the wrong end. The female, I needed the male part. But that is the story in life. We have headphones. It's a corded design, not the rubbery one. There's uh, many things in here. There are several things. Better not touch that. Samsung also has a way to kill your child if they ever got into this box. Sharp pin stabbing thing. Seems unnecessary. Most people just use a little tech. So I opened all this stuff. There's nothing more to check. I could show you what the cameras are like, but this is an unboxing video. It's pointless and they need to die. If you just bought something and you're thinking of making an unboxing video, take the box, shove it up your bag that you purchased the item in so you can return it, is what I meant to say. So please do that and stop existing. You're a box. I hope you die in a box. So post your box recipes down below. And thank you so much for watching today and buying an I'm a Donkey Bitch t-shirt. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of unboxing stuff coming, I promise.